like there's going to be a spooky plasma device coming out soon, a Rife machine for real. I uh, just want to say that it's on the horizon. I don't know exactly when it's coming out, but they're in the final testing stages. Uh, well, what's interesting about this deal, though, is... Um, now, I don't want to get too technical because I don't even understand all the technicalities about these type of devices, but um, there's absolutely no true Rife machine actually ever produced since uh, Royal Rife himself. And what's been going on is everybody's been copying what was uh, that Hoyland produced. Uh, which was Rife's business partner, and he decided to use a carrier wave with radio waves and audio waves mixed, and to hide the true frequencies in these side bands. They were co he was combining frequencies to hide what he was really doing, because he would put out a whole bunch of different side bands, and only one of those side bands would work. And when they did it in that method, it actually diminished the strength of the machine. But hey, you got to hide your work, right? Or else somebody might copy it and I'll lose business, right? Isn't that always the case? Now, this is something I really want to warn about because I know most people, if they understand what the Royal Rife machine was about and how he actually uh, tested this machine on hundreds of rat experiments and mice experiments before he even tested on humans, and it did cure cancer. But the business partner that came in later, the machine I think was fairly effective, but it was less effective than the real McCoy. And then John Crane came in later and he did some other things, but I don't want to get into all that. But here's my point. It's not just the pharma medical establishment that you might be thinking is against this, that shot it down. It's everybody. It's all the people in the Rife community that get involved, that... Not everybody, but it's every aspect of the whole horizon, whatever you want to call it. It's the established medicine that's got things going on with revenue streams that they already have ways of making money. It's a threat to that money. Yeah, I know that. It's also people in the Rife community. Not all of them. It looks like the spooky team is the really honest ones, but... There's always somebody on the internet that's going to attack them and say the device is this and that, and they lie, and they... I've seen certain comments from certain people, but I did my utmost to check for the accuracy of the device and the proof of the true waveform staying true under load. It's all there. But now it's going on to the plasma device, and it's going to be true to form of the Rife machine. But it's not just... The medical establishment sometimes, it's all, its everybody. It's the whole human element across the whole board. It's like there's people in the Rife community that, you know, early on, they didn't want people knowing their work. Even John Crane, he would not use, like, common divisors of the original Rife frequencies to come down, bring down it to a new frequency for his pad-type Rife machine. He would use random digit divisors so you didn't know what the original frequency that Rife was actually using that he was trying to emulate in a different type of method. He was They're all trying to hide their work. Because, well, it's about money. What the hell do you think? Now, the other thing is, the truther movement itself is one of the biggest lunatic freaking posts. Well, that's the name of a website, too is one of the biggest lunatic freaking things going. It's like most of these freaking damn truthers are whacked. Totally. I mean, and they're all about profit. A lot of them. Now, the thing is, with the, say this machine comes, is going to be out really soon. It's some, some, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's near, very near production, supposedly. The real Nick, the next hurdle is going to be you don't know all the original right frequencies, but we do know enough of them that it should be pretty damn good. Because it's going to be the only one that's going to work in a true sense. The only one. And it probably is going to be far more cost effective than anything out there, far lower price. Because if I've seen any, anything I saw that 
Spooky 2 put out, it was low price. I don't sell it. I don't have nothing to do with them. I'm not on a spooky team. I'm not anything. I'm an end user. And some people have accused me of, I got some kind of connection to this. I don't have any connection to it. But, you know, I, I looked into a lot of these type of the technology. And it's sometimes, um, you know, I don't get fooled by the stuff too easily. If I do get fooled a little bit, it's like I find out because I keep digging. You know, I'm like a tank, you know, I dig, I dig, I dig, the treads dig in, and finally, I make it up the freaking hill, and I find out what's on the other side. I will find out. And this is probably going to be the best damn thing going. The problem is going to be, prob it's going to actually not just be others in a rife community trying to tell you it's no good. I'll guarantee you the competition is going to tell you it's no good. This is why it's no good. That's why it's no good. You're going to be hearing that kind of crap. You're going to hear from the medical people, snake oil, and then you're going to hear it from the truther community because I don't want to knock this, but this is where, this, you know, I'm going to tell you why this stuff never came out. It's human nature, man. Humans have shot the truth in the foot a million times, including these damn freaking lunatic, lying, freaking prophet truthers. You know, they, they're one of the ones, worst ones going. Alex Jones and David Icke with you, Jesus. Uh, from, uh, he's Jesus, man. He's the Messiah, right? And a lot of people love that guy, but you know, he's a freaking nut. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. But I'm going to tell you, this one thing is, I'm a skeptic on his technology. That's how I look at it. Some of the stuff seems to work. And then some of the stuff, there's just too much... People, too many people saying it works, that it's not all garbage. I know that. It's got to be. But, you know, the one thing is I'm going to find out where you're going to find is the problem is somebody's going to put out testimonies. Oh, it worked. It's a miracle. And they, and they and I don't know, they, maybe they made themselves better by, uh, you know, <laughs> positive attitude and positive thinking. I mean, sometimes that works. So, I mean, it's really got three different ways. It's the people themselves are actually, I'm going to tell you, my point on this thing is the people themselves are the ones that actually shoot the truth down more than anybody. And, you know, one of the worst messengers out there that bring the truth out, that freaking screws it up and twists it all around, are the so-called truthers. Well, I'm trying to be as accurate as possible, and I'm not playing games where... Um, you know, what 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 are the people like, you know, I'm going to scare them with this and stuff. No, I'm not. Or tell you about the latest conspiracy. Actually, I think this thing is going to be one of the best damn things going. Um, and from what I understand about specifications, it's built very solid, very durable. It's got all kinds of, it's got all kinds of safety features in it and everything. So, but the thing is, bottom line, it's going to be, a the technology that Royal Rife himself used, which none of them today are. They're all based upon the Hoyland technology, which is a version of the Rife technology, but it's not as strong. Because he combined radio waves and audio waves to come up with these sidebands, and only one of those sidebands worked, and he d diminished the strength of the signal, from what I understand. It works, but it doesn't work as good as the real McCoy. you you got to figure it doesn't work as good as the real McCoy. Why? Because everybody would freaking know about it. I mean, it's got a certain percentage of times that it helped people out, but it doesn't work 100% of the time. Royal Rife's machine worked 100% of the time. Now, hopefully this one will work 100% of the time, but it's going to have to be... I don't think they know all the frequencies that Rife did, but they know some of them for sure. So... It should be helpful, and it should be at a low price. It should be very cost, uh, very well, very cost effective, low price. It should also be um, safe, and it should be built to uh, real hard standards where it's not going to break, you know, short out or anything like that, or you know, have a low lifespan or it'd be irre unreliable. Because I know somebody's going to say one thing or another, but you know, I can't, I take those kind of people off my channel because. What it is, if I answer the question about something, they'll just come back and they'll make something up. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to spend all day 
trying to argue with somebody one on one, you know, about some crap that they're just throwing out because of spite or whatever they're doing. I can tell you there's definitely some people out there doing that kind of stuff. And I ain't got all day to go mess with that kind of garbage. Period. I know one thing, I'm getting one. And I'm getting it, you know, I'm paying for it. I mean, I'm buying it like a freaking end user, and I'm going to use it. That's what I'm going to do, okay? So I just want to tell you that, and it uh, should be coming out pretty soon. And um, this technology is very, very promising because, like I said, every single Rife machine that they call True Rife was not really based upon Royal Rife's machine. It was based upon... Royal Rife's business partner by the name of Hoyland that tried to disguise the true Rife frequencies by combining frequencies so people wouldn't understand what the hell he did. So, well, we'll see. Hopefully it comes out and is no problem, but remember this. The bigger enemy, in my opinion, it's not even the Rife community, competitors, it's not the medical community, it's not pharma, it's the people themselves. And you know what? I'm not very religious or anything, but you can find references in the Bible where they talk about when the evil new world order is going to come and all this, it's unrelated to this in a way, but they talk about the people themselves could prevent it. But you know what? Giddy minds rule and drama and BS. And I am like disgusted with it to the max tell you the truth man I mean you're not going to see that kind of crap on this channel and you know Alex Jones that guy I'm going to tell you he's working for the bad side I'm going to tell you oh I don't want to get onto that again I put enough videos about that guy you know David Icke and they're working for the bad side most of them are they make a lot of money they're working for the bad side I can tell you that right now I'm doing this, uh, I work very hard on this channel, and uh, I don't freaking um, put out crap. I put out what is legit. And then some, you know, I make, you know, I'm put crazy shit out here too sometimes just for the hell of it. But I don't like being serious all the time, but I put the real stuff out here. I put the real stuff. I don't put garbage out. I don't put rumors out. I don't put fake drama stories out or anything like that. So this should be the real McCoy, and it's just, you know, and this is where I want to encourage the true medical people, the doctors, the ones who it's your profession to heal people, to look at this technology. Because when it comes down to it, an end user is not going to be able to use this technology as well as a medical professional. And the end user is not going to be evaluate, be able to evaluate what is really going on in the body. If it's going to be used to treat cancer or something, how is that end user going to know it's all gone? It's like, you know, I could take, I could say, hey, um, we have the best body shop hammers for building, fixing cars and getting the dents out and the best spray guns. And we have, you know, just give you a simple example, we have the best grinders and DA Sanders and board Sanders and whatever, it takes skill. You need a doctor, really, to do the damn best job. So this is not going to be a threat to you. But keep an open mind about it. And it's going to be lucrative because if people live a lot longer, I'm going to add this all on the end because I've repeated this before, but if people live a lot longer, you're going to have a lot more business. And on top of that, it's a major boon to the economy, and I'm going to tell you why it's a major boon to the economy, not for the medical people per se. How long does it take to train a person to be skilled? They go to school for 16 years, right? Then they go to, go to like, uh, in the business world, and it takes them, or the tradesmanship, it takes them 8, 10, 20 years to learn more, right? But at time, they're in their 40s, then they're in their prime. And maybe when they're 60, 70, they're already slowed down again. Say they were in their prime another 50 years. What would the production and GDP and uh, what kind of real wealth would everybody have in the world if knowledgeable people that had decades of experience were still vibrant and bright the whole time because they were in great health? 
Think of it that way. Would that not provide a, a utopia in a different way? It would. It would in a true way, in a way that numbers don't reflect. And I'm a numbers guy, but I look. I think outside what the numbers don't tell you too. So there's a lot of uses to this technology, but let's just hope that the giddy minds don't destroy it because they're more dangerous than the elite. You know, I mean, there's doctors and then there's the, the money guys on the top over the doctors and telling the doctors, you know, hey, you got to push our medicine. You know what I'm talking about. Those are the really bad guys, not the doctor doctors. It's the money guys. The money guys. The doctors are in the money, but not like that kind of money. They actually do care about their patients. They do. Anyway, spooky plasma true rife is on the horizon. Look forward to it.